Right guys, Nexus here from Iconic Arts and um, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial today on how to make metal pipes in Photoshop. Uh, you've seen them quite a lot, um, mostly on people's backgrounds. Um, I've got a couple on my backgrounds and um, really easy to make and um, they look really nice as well if you do them properly. So what I do first, uh, new, go to 1280 by 720 and do go to the fill tool and do that like a, quite a dark grey almost black because it will just make the metal pipe stand out more what we'll do now uh, add a new layer and go to the box tool and just make a thin one across like that Put it there. Shit, same colour. Wait, do that again. Do it same about a mid grey, about there, and go across again. There, there we go. And just move it to everywhere you want. And now I'll go into blending options, drop shadow, opacity all the way up, and oh my mouse keeps disappearing. Oh, this is what I hate about doing tutorials because you can't see your mouth. There we go. Um, distance all the way down. Size to about about 25, and spread to about 10. Yeah, and then go to outer glow, and go blend mode to darken, and then go to stroke, and put that down to one. Yeah, and press OK. And now what we will do is we'll go to the what? That's the dodge tool, and get it to like the right size, not too big, so it takes up the whole thing to about there. Make sure the range is on the highlights, exposure, and protect tones is unchecked, and um, and then just hold Shift and click and strike it down the middle like that and then just keep going over it keep going keep going to about there wait I'll do that again because my laptop's fucking shit wait there yeah just keep bringing it over and over until you till the middle gets quite bright it starts looking like a metal pole to be honest. <laughs> Leave it to about there. And then the bottom half. Tiny corner at the bottom and then just bring it across like that. Just to finish it off. There we go. And um that's it basically. You can use the gradient tool but it doesn't look as good. This is like the best way how to do it. And what we can also do, go to brightness and contrast, and then in between the layers, hold Alt and click just to layer it, mask it, whatever, and just change the brightness around to how you want it. And I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Yeah, and just mess around with it as much as you want. Um, uh, what I also do, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope it helps you. And don't forget to subscribe.